In this video, we're just going to look at uh, division where you actually have a domain, a remainder. So we'll just do these examples and on these three pages. So page two is just one example, as is page three. So if you had five into five hundred three, or five hundred three divided by five, go ahead and do the division on this and see what we get. Well, we go five into five goes once, right? 5 and the 0 goes how many times? 0 times. And 5 into 3 goes how many times? 0 times, right? And then you would say remainder 3 with a big R for remainder, okay? Now what does that mean? Well it means that uh, you know how many five dollar bill, you know, blah, 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 blah. if you split five hundred and three dollars five ways, that's a hundred dollars and kind of remainder three, then you have to kind of try and split the three dollars off. But um, you can also, we can check this by multiplication, so hopefully you can see this clearly what the remainder is three. But if you check it by multiplying, it'll be a hundred times five, okay, which gives Five zeros is zero, five zero is zero, five ones is five, and remainder three. If you just add on the three, then you get what you started out with, five hundred three. Okay. So go ahead and do this one. Six hundred into four hundred seventy. Or sorry, six into four hundred seventy. Six into four doesn't go, but what six into forty seven? is 7 times, because 7 sixes is 42. So you go 7 times, and um, 7 six is 42. If you want, you can go 7 times 6, 42, and then subtract. You see, 47 minus 42 is 5. Bring the 0 down, and now 6 into 50 goes... eight times, right? And eight sixes is forty eight and then you subtract and you get two and this is remainder, remainder two. So this is kinda like the long way of long division way of doing it. So the answer is seventy eight remainder big R two. You can just write you don't have to write out remainder, just write like that if you like. Um, but the short kind of way of doing this, let's do it I want I'd like you all just to do this this one problem, just do it two ways. This is the long division way. Okay, and let's also try it the short division way. So you'd go six into forty seven goes um seven times and seven six is forty two and you do all this in your head then. Forty seven minus forty two is five and you just stick a five here see so instead of the fifty turning up down here you have fifty here so the short division way is just doing it this way six into fifty goes eight times eight sixes is forty eight fifty minus forty eight is two so you just write down remainder two so again fifty minus forty eight remainder two this is all done in your head so just like you to write this out two ways just so you know that there's two ways of doing it long division or I guess you could call this short division so anyway um, let's go to page two and we'll do this one with long division because it's a double digit number anyway you probably need to so um, I guess you could press pause and try this yourself and then I'll go over it and then after that we'll do page three so press pause and do this and then we'll go over together. You could also try this one as well if you like, whichever you want to do. Okay, I'm going to do page two now, so I hope you've tried it. hope you've tried it. I'm going to go over page two now. So 27 into 82 goes... Um, I'm going to guess uh, three times just for fun. Three sevens, 21 carry two. Three twos is six and two is eight. So I got lucky. 82 minus 81 is one. Bring down five here, and uh, twenty-seven into fifteen goes how many times? 
zero times in fact zero times 27 is zero subtract that and we get 15 bring down 7 what's 27 into 157 well let's see 27 is almost 30 so it's kind of like 30 into 160 so I'm going to guess 5 for that reason. If I'm wrong, if, if I'm off, I'll just try another one. It's no big deal. But 5 times 7, 35, carry 3. 5 times 2 is 20, is t or five, 10 and 3, so I'll get 13, I guess. 7 minus 5 is 2, and that is 2. So now 27 into 22 goes 0 times. So this number is smaller than 27. So I did guess the correct number up here but my remainder now is 22. So I can say your answer is 305 remainder uh, 22, right? So this is our answer, 305 remainder 22. And if you ever wanna check your answer, especially a good idea on a test, and it'd be nice to check, let's say just two of your homework questions, just check them out and just see what happens. Because 305 times 27, Uh, and then added add the 22 onto this answer and we should get 8257 so let's see 7 times 5 35 carry 3 7 times 0 is 0 and 3 35 7 times 3 21 then put down a 0 and multiply by 2 or 20 right so 2 times 5 is 10 carry 1 2 times 0 is 0 and 1 is 1 2 times 3 is 6 add them and we get 5 3 2 8 and the remainder was 22, so when I add on the remainder, I should end up with 8257. Let's see. 7, 5, 2, 8. Correct, right? So um, press pause and try this one yourself, and then we'll go over it together. Press pause and try it yourself, and then we'll you can go over it on the video but it's good to give it an attempt yourself first. So, okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. 345 into this number. Um, I'm going to guess it goes, well, seven, 78 it won't go, but 789, I think it might go twice. Let's try. 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1. 2 times 4 is 8 and 1 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6, and then subtract. 9 minus 0 is 9 and this becomes 6, this becomes 18, 18 minus 9 is 9, 345 and then we've got to bring the 4 down, don't we? So 345 into 994, let's see, I'm going to guess 3 times, I may be wrong, let's see, 3 times 5, 15, carry 1, 3 times 4 is 12, 1 is 13, carry 1, 3 times 3 is 9, 1 is 10. Uh-oh, this number is too big. No problem, all you have to do is erase that and try again. So, just to remind you, you don't have to be right every on every guess, but I think 2 should work now instead. So, 2 times this, again, is going to be 690, right? So, then subtract and we get 4 and 9 minus 9 is 0 and that minus that is 3 so let's try and bring the 2 down now and 345 into this hmm interesting well one thing to think about is like what's 345 times 10 for example would be 3 Four five zero, right? So ten three hundred forty fives would be three four five zero. This is three zero oh, four two. So I'm going to guess nine. Let's see what happens. I may be wrong. Let's see. Nine fives forty five carry four. Nine fours thirty six and four is zero carry four. Nine threes twenty seven and four thirty one. Oh, I was wrong again. No problem. Let's, so uh, this number is too big now. So I'm just going to go for something less than 9. Let's try 8.
A times 5, 40, carry 4. A times 4, 32, and 4, 36, carry 3. A times 3, 24, and 3, 27. Subtract, and we get 2. And then look at this. We've got to go um, turn that into a 2, bring 1 over here, that's a 10, turn that into a 9, er, because we've got to bring 1 over here. So we've got 14 minus 6 is 8, 9 minus 7 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So we get 2, 8, 2, and then we bring down this 8 here. So we have, uh, 2 is a little bit wonky, put that there. We have 340, 345 into 2,828. Hmm. Now, what do you think you should do with this? Remember last time we got 8 times that gave 2,760? So, sometimes when you're doing long division, you can kind of use your previous multiplications to try and figure out what you should try. Because like 8 times this gave this, so how about try 8 again because this is just a little bit less than 2,828, uh, right? So let's try 8 again is what I'm saying. 8 times this is going to be the same number, 2,760, right? And then subtract and we get 8. And then this becomes a 7, bring a 1 over. 12 minus 6 is 6, 7 minus that is 0, and, and so we have remainder 68. 0, 6, 8 is the same thing as 68. So remainder 68. So here's our answer. All of this remainder 68.